Creating an ant farm at home using a glass jar can be an engaging and educational project. The process involves a few key steps, including gathering materials, preparing the jar, sourcing the ants, and setting up and maintaining the habitat. The glass jar allows for a clear view of the ants' activities, making it an ideal choice for observation and study. To start, you'll need to gather the necessary materials. A glass jar is the primary component, and it should be clear, clean, and dry. The size of the jar can vary depending on your preference, but a medium-sized jar is usually sufficient. You'll also need a smaller container, such as a plastic bottle or another smaller jar, which will be placed inside the larger jar to create a thin space where the ants can build their tunnels. This inner container helps encourage the ants to dig along the sides of the glass, making their activities more visible. Additionally, you'll need soil or sand, water, food for the ants, and a piece of cloth or paper to cover the top of the jar. Begin by thoroughly cleaning and drying the glass jar. This ensures that no contaminants could harm the ants or disrupt the ecosystem you're about to create. Once the jar is ready, place the smaller container inside. You can weigh it down with a bit of sand or pebbles to prevent it from moving. The smaller container should ideally be centered, leaving a gap between it and the walls of the glass jar. This gap is where the ants will make their tunnels. Next, fill the gap between the smaller container and the glass jar with soil or sand. The choice between soil and sand depends on the type of ants you're planning to use. Different ant species have different preferences, some prefer sandy environments, while others thrive in soil. Ensure the soil or sand is moist but not wet, as too much moisture can harm the ants. Lightly misting the substrate with water can help maintain the right level of moisture. After preparing the habitat, it's time to introduce the ants. You can either collect ants from your garden or purchase them from a supplier. If you're collecting them yourself, it's crucial to gather ants from the same colony to avoid conflicts within the farm. The best way to collect ants is to find a busy ant trail and carefully scoop up some workers and, if possible, a queen. The queen is vital for establishing a long-term colony, as she lays the eggs that will produce new workers. However, catching a queen can be challenging, and many ant farms function well with just workers. Once you have your ants, carefully introduce them into the jar. You can do this by gently tipping the container with the ants into the jar or using a small, soft brush to transfer them. Be cautious not to harm the ants during this process. After the ants are in the jar, cover the top with a breathable material, such as a piece of cloth or a paper towel, secured with a rubber band. This cover prevents the ants from escaping while allowing air to circulate. Now that the ants are in their new habitat, it's important to provide them with food and water. Ants are omnivores, and their diet can vary, but they generally enjoy sugary substances and proteins. You can offer them small pieces of fruit, honey, or sugar water for sugar, and bits of boiled egg or insects for protein. Be careful not to overfeed, as uneaten food can mold and spoil the habitat. For water, lightly mist the soil or sand with water occasionally, but avoid making it too wet. You can also place a small, damp cotton ball in the jar as a water source. Observing the ants as they explore and build their tunnels is one of the most fascinating aspects of having an ant farm. The ants will start by exploring their new environment, and soon they'll begin to dig tunnels and chambers. To maintain the ant farm, it's important to keep it in a stable environment. Ants are sensitive to temperature and light, so place the jar in a location that's not too hot or cold and avoid direct sunlight, which can overheat the habitat. Regularly check the moisture level of the soil or sand and the ants' food supply. Remove any uneaten food to prevent mold growth. If you notice the habitat becoming too dry, mist it lightly with water. It's also crucial to monitor the health of the ants. Healthy ants are active and responsive, while sick ants may be sluggish or isolated. If you notice a decline in activity or an unusual number of dead ants, investigate potential causes such as inadequate food, poor air quality, or excessive moisture. Addressing these issues promptly can help maintain a healthy colony. 
Creating and maintaining an ant farm in a glass jar is a rewarding experience that offers a window into the fascinating world of ants. It teaches patience, observation, and care for living creatures. Whether for educational purposes or simple curiosity, observing ants as they build, work, and interact provides a unique perspective on these tiny but complex organisms. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.